Mark Scott here reporting from yet another hospital. NYU Hospital and look at the freezer truck. We're right out in front on the street over here. And look at that. Look at that baby right there. Full of dead bodies they say. Full of dead bodies right out here on the street. For everybody to see. Scare the shit out of you. Right there on 2nd Avenue and 17th Street. Supposed to be afraid of that shit, right? You are supposed to be terrified of the freezer truck. <laughs> so, Mark's County reporting here at, uh, again, doing another hospital check. We're at Beth, today we're at Beth Israel Hospital. And I'm on the horse, I'm on the, uh, <laughs> I'm on my bike. And we're going to take a little ride around. I saw, I've already been around, see a lot of ambulances just sitting doing nothing no action whatsoever in front of the hospital right there's nothing it's just it's just another nothing but we're gonna watch it anyway check it out it's only something because the mainstream media is telling us it's something All right so let's have a look so here we go here's a freezer truck inescapable got a little NYPD action over here. Looks like a hospital. Looks like a. Uh, looks like a freezer truck for sure. Uh, they built themselves a nice little canopy with a door. That. There it is. NYU. Right here on Second Avenue in the East Village, just above the East Village. It's actually called Gramercy Park. Gramercy Park area. So. And we're going to take a look around. We're going to go down and see like, already we see a lot of ambulances just, just hanging out. Senior care, there's a NYU ambulance. No sirens. But nonetheless, the economy is shut down. Stay away from everybody because it's very dangerous out. It's very dangerous. It's so dangerous, I can't believe it. So this is a uh, NYU long gone orthopedic hospital. I guess it's a specialty hospital, but that's Beth Israel over there. So again, two hospitals for one. It's a twofer today. It looks like a little triage tent out front. I don't know, maybe a little triage tent. And uh, yeah, so this is the entrance of Mount, uh, Mount Sinai, Beth Israel. Freeman Hall. Uh, you would definitely think that if there was some action there, there would be there would be something to look at. There's a cool truck down on the corner over here. Look at this, man. They got the oxygen truck. <laughs> this shit is dope right here. Watch this. There's a fucking oxygen truck. A whole truck full of oxygen. Oxygenated liquor. You know, uh, <laughs> liquor. <laughs> oxygenated liquid. Look, gases for life. Gases for life, man. Look at this fucker. Look at this thing, man. A whole oxygen truck. You got like smoke coming off the edges over there. You see that shit? Look at that. See the smoke coming out? What the hell is this thing? I bet it's flammable. I bet that shit will blow up if you get too close to it with a cigarette. <laughs> Guess that's why they say no smoking. So, liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen. Gas for life. Look at this thing, man. It's whack, right? Looks like a chemistry project. 
looks like a chemistry project and you see over here right it's some kind of entrance Hannah Silva building oxygen truck but no ruckus that's what I'm talking about right there's no there's no there's no big hospital business going on that's an employee entrance we just saw a second ago I saw the sign so if you're joining the video late we are here at Beth Israel slash New York University Hospitals between 1st and 2nd Avenue in New York City at 17th Street, 15th Street. And uh, we're going to have a look around the other side of it. I think there was one more thing to see over there. And I'm on here, my, I'm on my horse right now. You can hear the horse. <laughs> right. Hear my horse. And uh, here's, here's an interesting entrance over here, right? So prepare to see a little bit. There's a whole lot of ambulances. Like someone getting out of an ambulance walking on their own two feet. Like they need a fucking ambulance. So the story is that we're all very short-handed here. This is the emergency room exit entrance and you can count them if you want one two three four five trucks there's another freezer truck it seems like it's on thermo king they all seem to be about the same size Uh, there might be somebody on a gurney over there, so we're going to turn it off when they come in. We got these fine people just sitting around having pizza. Hard working people. Everybody's working really hard. Emergency room. See the emergency. For one side of the hospital. There's a gurney, but it's empty. Empty gurney. Empty gurney. I wonder how many bodies are in there, boy. I really wonder. So, Marcus Conti reporting from Beth Israel Hospital in front of the emergency room. <laughs> Between two hospitals, still, it seems to, it seems to be, be a little calmer. Meaning that security is not rushing you when you walk over with a camera. That was the case uh, last week. If you approach, all of a sudden the goons come and they come to take you away, you know. And today it doesn't seem to be the case. It seems to be much more calm. I think I saw something on TV on uh, that Trump was going to... Um, start to have discussions about opening up the goddamn economy and because none of this makes sense it still doesn't make sense we shut down a trillion we start we, we we shut down people's livelihoods because we were told that there was a mad mad rush in new york city the COVID capital of the world they called it but still we can't find any evidence of sick people dying to get in can't find any evidence of it hey, can I ask you guys a question is it crowded inside you don't have any comment can I put you on camera <laughs> thank you <laughs> they, they're going like this they're going they're, they're, they're saying no <laughs> no comment Woo! so I don't know what this is here there's some kind of crazy ass emergency management tent this is sexy what do you think about that what do you think about that you like them apples right there so there we are we're at an emergency room that looks like some kind of triage tent over there emergency management not a goddamn soul trying to get in there Ugh, rushing in the fence 
It's actually a very beautiful park right here if you want to see it. It's a uh, park right across the street, a couple of people hanging out. Uh, smoking a reefer. <laughs> Smell it in the air. Beautiful park. Cherry blossoms blooming. And uh give you a little look at the outside of the hospital here. So again, it's Mount Sinai. You've heard Mount Sinai. If you're not from New York, you've heard quite a bit of it mentioned. And here's another wing of Mount Sinai, Beth Israel, I guess, I don't know. They all merge because we live in the age of monopolies where everything is one. Everybody is one happy hospital. Right. 16th Street. And, uh, so I guess that's really it. I guess that's really it. Mark Conti reporting from Mount Sinai, Beth Israel, NYU, another hospital down here in COVID-stricken New York City. But we can't seem to find a single soul rushing the hospital to get in. It's all so mysterious. It's just all so mysterious. Marcus Conti reporting.